Hey guys, I'm Nice Mark, and what I have for you today is the results of an experiment that I did. I wanted to find out if you can upscale Minecraft screenshots with AI. And for that, you can go to my website, and the results are going to be here. And I'm just going to go quickly over what the results are. Here are the images, and in order to see them better, I recommend zooming in because right now it doesn't really make that much of a difference, right? But the goal of AI upscaling is to make the image that is small look the same on a bigger screen because you know the usual way that upscaling works is for example if you take a small image and make it big, it's just going to copy the exact same pixels and there's going to be much more space for details but these details that are supposed to be there are just going to be the exact same pixels. So what you get is a lower quality image. Now, for AI upscaling, what it does is it tries to imagine what the details are supposed to look like and it's trying to draw them in. So that is the difference. And let's see how good it is. So in order to see it better, to zoom in on your phone, you can just zoom in the usual way, just like you do. And on your computer, you can either press Ctrl and plus like this, or you can use Ctrl and your mouse wheel. So here we have a picture of Enderman. And already you can see a difference on the left. This is before and on the right, this is after. So you can see that the Enderman sort of blend into the background. Like they are a little bit blurry on the edges, as you can see here. It's like they are melting into the background now, whereas on the after picture, they're much more defined, as you can see here. They're much sharper, and the same can be said about blocks. Okay, so for this next one, this is a screenshot of a town with shaders on. And again, we can drag this slider here, and let's let's start with this bush right here. So if we slide over it, we can see that immediately it became much sharper. And uh, something that you should always pay attention to is small details like grass. For example, here, I think there's like four grass blades, right? But it's sort of blurry. But if we drag the slider, we can see that the grass is much more defined. The same can be said about trees in the background. Next up, we have the Hoglin, and again, we can see that it looks much better. It's much more defined, and it stands out more. You can see the arm here, it sort of blends in with the background, if you know what I mean. But if we drag the slider, it's like, like stands out. Now, as for the background itself, we can see that it is blurry drag the slider, it becomes higher quality. Now this screenshot with slimes here has sort of a different result. As you can see, the dirt became kind of different. But again, this AI wasn't trained on Minecraft. It was trained on real photos of, you know, mountains, trees, and etc. So it has no idea that Minecraft exists in the first place, but still it's doing a pretty decent job. So if you were to upscale the image with just your regular software, like Paint or, or something, it would look like this. But if you use AI, it, it starts to look like this. Now, as for the Ender Dragon, it's the same story here, but the Ender Dragon became sort of more, I would say, cartoonish, as you can see here. But again, it, it is sharper, right? Let me know in the comments what you think about it. It is sharper, but the drawback is that it is sort of changing the style of it. And finally, we have a picture of a pearl. You can see this magma block right here. If 
me drag over it. it starts to stand out now what about this magma block i would say that there is an improvement there too yeah definitely definitely just pay attention to this dirt here this grass and on the left it is blurrier and on the right it is clearer and again the way this works is basically the computer was shown uh, i don't know how many exactly but probably in the tens of thousands or even more images of lakes rivers mountains and basically the computer was told that this is a mountain this is a river and this is a lake and it was told this for tens of thousands of times so it learns to basically generate these mountains these rivers but we are applying it to minecraft and it doesn't know that minecraft exists so it's interesting that you can still get a result from it and that's that for today if you want to see it yourself then you can go on my website and the link will be in the description thanks for watching and i'll see you all later bye bye